Hey guys, in this video, we will talk about the IP address and how we can calculate many things from a subnet point of view. So, if I'll talk to you something about the IP address, if you have working in IT, then you must have worked with the IP addresses as well. So, this is very familiar to you, right? So, there are many things in the IP address itself. If I'll talk about this particular subnet, which is in green color, that is 10.15.10.0 slash 24 that means it is having the range of this usable ip address from 1 to 254 if you realize here only the last octet is changing and nothing else is changing because of we have given this 24 so if i will ask you one more simple question can you calculate the same range for this ip address obviously you can do it right if i'll ask you that what is the subnet for this one subnet mask for this one while mask for this one and what will be the first ip address that can be used or large ip address that can be used or i'll simply ask how many numbers of ip address this subnet is having you must have told me easily right and also if i'll ask you which class this subnet belongs to as here it is mentioned class a is there and this subnet is represented in binary like this way so the thing is uh, how we can do these all things in this video i am going to show you similarly if you i'll ask this one how how many ips are there and the range of the ip address in the class you can get it easily right and how you can calculate it i am going to show you similarly it is easy for this one as well because these all i have given a simple range of slash 24 if i'll ask you this question can you help me with the number of ip addresses of this subnet and what will be the first ip and the last ip of this subnet you must uh, you might have puzzled this time and you are thinking and calculating and spend more hours to give me the exact number of uh, addresses or actual results so similarly what i am going to show you here uh, the way you can usually calculate any subnet for any subnet you can get many things what are the things you can calculate if i talk about this last subnet which i told you that that belongs to class c address I'll show you how you can calculate this class C, class B, class A and uh, how these all can be calculated. I'll show you. But the thing is, uh, if I'll ask, you can get all the results with this IP calculator. The, yes, I'm going to show you a, a calculator which can help you to calculate the IP addresses as well from the subnet. You just need to provide this range like 192.15.16.0 and slash 21. If you will provide, you will get the address, first address that is the network identification okay and the last address that is the broadcast address first and last we can't use it just keep in mind in any subnet we don't use this subnet uh, these these ip address two ips we can't use from any subnet okay because these are used for network identification and the last one is used for broadcast so net connected device use these uh, ips for uh, communicating okay so we can't use it so if i want to calculate the subnet mask that is very very important because whenever we configure the ip addresses we need to provide the subnet as well so these are the subnet mask is there so for this one the subnet mask will be this one if i want to represent it in the binary you can see in the right hand side it is there if i told you the first ip of this subnet will be this one host minimum that is start from one and in the last it will go for 23.254 in the last uh, slide we have seen that the range was starting from 1 to 254 but it was not changing for the first three octet the region at that point of time here it was slash 24 that means that these all three octets were fixed and we were changing the ip addresses from here and the ips were given from the last octet what is these octets i'll show you and the last address is moving from 23 because here if you see we have to taken three bits from here as well so it is varying from 000 to 111 so that's why it is varying that's why it is uh, changing this result as well from 16 to 24 23 so it is 8 2 to the power 3 so this is how we calculate if i told you about the actual usable ip addresses from this subnet those were 246 if i will tell you if it is 24 then it will be 254 similarly any range can be given to you i, I don't know right now we are working with the cloud where the range is starting from slash 16 so it's really tough for to calculate manually so that's why i use this calculator and mostly i'm using from last eight to nine years so it's very friendly no need to install anything it's working just you need to search how you can do it i'll show you 
and uh, for the those who are new to the ip addresses thing let me tell you, uh, tell you if i talk about the ipv4 that is like uh, the ip address which i showed you here that it belongs to ipv4 not the ipv6 okay so it is having like 32 bits all divided into four sections first section these sections are called as octet there are four octet and the one octet is having eight bits what is these eight bits these eight digits you are seeing eight binary numbers you are seeing these are the bits here okay and how we can calculate if it is class a class b or class c it uh, represented by the first octet if your range if your range is uh, varying from 0 to 127 for the first octet it will come under class a similarly for 128 to 191 it is class b here we have the example of class c if i'll go a little bit further here you can see it is ranging from 1 to 127 that's why it is class a it is varying it is between 128 to 191 that's why it's a class b it is more than 192 to 240 uh, 239 that's why uh, sorry 223 it's a uh, class c so this is how we calculate the class a class b class c and these octets how many bits are there how many fix and and now i'll show you the formula through which we calculate the ip addresses means the usable ip addresses from the subnet for example you have like a slash 24 slash 24 that means that your first three octets are fixed and your your ips will will be given from the last octet only so it will come here okay so first three will be fixed similarly if it is class, uh, slash 16 that means it will come here your <coughs> range will vary from here to here but first two octet will be fixed similarly if it is slash 8 first octet will be fixed and the ips will be given from the last octet now let's go through the calculator how you can access it and use it and we will go through some real example as well so guys to use the calculator you just need to come to the google and search for ip calci once you will search it you will get the first link just click on this one you will get this page here you just need to provide the ip address for which you are looking for the range for example i am looking for 10.14.0.0 0 and my subnet mask is uh, 24 and now here you can see the address first address of this ip address or subnet will be this one last address will be this one if i'll talk about the subnet mask that is very important to tell so this will be the one okay if i'll talk about in binary you can see here in the right hand side uh, the range is very um, between 1 to 127 so it comes under class a the first ip that we can use it from 01 and the last ip will be 254 for similar subnet if i'll ask for slash 24 just click on calculate here you can see the subnet mask has been changed here here the first ip is same but the last ip has been changed because it is from 3.254 and the total number of ip is now 1022 so the thing is now you understood right how we can calculate it how we can use these results and all so this is how we can calculate our ip address easily make our life smoother and save our lots of time while working on ip addresses so i hope you find this video helpful and it helps you for working with the ip addresses if you find this video helpful click on like button share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe with this learning experience which i share time to time on this channel see you in the next video